Okay, so one of the most common things that um, comes up is, is after you get into Media Center, undoubtedly after you get some plugins, you're going to want to kind of reorganize some things, uh, which isn't natively supported in Media Center. So there's a great little tool to do that. So in today's video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Media Center Studio to um, consolidate my my movies strip right here with the movies strip um, and have it sit right above the TV strip. Um, so that way it combines pieces of each into the actual movie strip that I want. So first thing you need to do is go over to adventmediacenter.com. It's the URL right there. Click on the download link in the top right hand corner and then download Media Center Studio. And that'll initiate a download. Once you have it downloaded and installed, when you open it up, it's going to look like what you see on the screen here. Um, it's a lot of white space, so you're going to think maybe you didn't do something right. Um, but actually, it defaults to the Themes tab up here in um, this corner over here. What you're going to want to do is click on the Start menu. When you do that, you'll see your, um, your Media Center menu. Now, what you want to do is you want to make sure that every s Media Center session is closed. Uh, before you start, uh, or before you, you save the edits to your menu. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to close Media Center. Now, what you'll see here is, um, if you look at My Movies, it has a light band kind of coming across it. Um, that is your default strip. And then if you look at each strip, there's one icon that has a box around it. That's the default icon for that strip. Um, so for most folks, if you click on this arrow, you'll be able to slide down, or you can roll with your mouse. Um, for most, the TV strip will actually be highlighted, and recorded TV will have the box around it. Um, and there, there you see recorded TV right there. Um, why there's two TV strips, I don't know. Um, I always work with the TV strip that does not have the live TV setup since at this point I've already set up my TV. Um, so I always assume it's that one. So here's what we want to do. Um, the My Movie Strip, for some reason, when you add it, it doesn't show anything. Um, so we're going to disable that. By if you highlight it, there's a check mark there. Just uncheck that. And we're going to disable that. And then the Movie Strip, we're actually going to disable that one too. Um, and we're going to uh, create our own movie strip so we can place it wherever we want. So, to do that, you go over to Start Menu up here. So you see the Home tab, Themes tab. We're going to click on Start Menu. And then the first option is Menu Strip. Clicked on that once. If I slide down to the bottom, you'll see Custom Menu. Now, if I click on this little sheet of paper, with a pencil icon next to it. I can now rename that. I'm going to name it to Movies. And hit Enter. And there's my strip. Now you can do this for any strip. You can rename them. You see it has a little sheet of paper. The custom strips have a red X because I can remove those. The uh, non-custom strips have a check mark because I can just hide those. I can't remove those. Um, so now what I want to do is I want to take this click the arrow next to it and I'm going to move it up. So let's move it above both the TV strips or all the TV strips. Okay, so there's movies. Now, one thing I want is I actually like the movie guide because the movie guide is, is based on the actual TV guide. So I'm going to slide this down, just click it once and drag it down onto the plus and now it's down on my new strip. Um, but I also like to rename it to really what it is. So I click on the piece of paper, and I'm going to call it Movies on TV. And hit Enter. Because that's, that's what that is, is Movies on TV. Now with the My Movies, I can't actually drag one down from an existing strip because I don't see those. So what I'm going to do is, on the bottom here, click on the icon next to Entry Points. And now these are all the entry points. So I'll look in here, and there's Movie Library, which is the My Movies icon. So now I can take this, and I can slide it 
onto my new movie strip. And you can move them back and forth. Um, what I also want is I like the trailer library from my movie, so I'm going to put that on there too. Click on that again, that closes that. So now here's my movie strip starting to take place. So there's movie library, I like that name, trailer library. Um, I'll be fine with that. Um, now this one, it, what I also want to do is, you know, I also watch on my PC, so um, what I also want to take is that's my movies. From oh here it is, on the movie strip I want the play DVD. Slide that down, because on my uh, my PC is actually hooked up to my TV, so I actually watch DVDs through Media Center. If you're on an extender, this icon just won't show up on your strip, even though you put it there. So have that, and then one of these is the Netflix. I think it's Promo Movies One. So I'm going to slide this down um, and put it towards the end. Now here I can actually take these and, and move them anywhere I want, um, so I can slide it around. Um, and you know what? Just so I don't have to choose, I'm actually going to grab all these promos. So anytime something's automatically pushed like the Netflix was, it'll just pop up and it'll pop up on my new movie strip. So now, come over here, there's a save icon here, or if I go back to the home tab, there's a big save icon here. Click save. Now let's close that. We'll open up Media Center again. And there's my strip. So you saw the focus is on Netflix there, so we probably have to fix that. Um, but there's TV, there's movies, and you see the My Movie strip is now gone. Um, movies on TV, if I go into there, it's going to be the movie guide. So you see up in the right-hand corner still says movie guide, um, and it should populate uh, all the movies that are on TV. So now let's, let's, let's actually close this. I'm going to go back. If I look at movies, sure enough, the blue boxes around promos too. I'm going to highlight movie library because I want that to be the focus. And I also want TV to be the main strip. So now I'll click save. Open up Media Center again. And there you go. So movies is highlighted and the, the movie library is a highlighted icon. Um, it Media Center always saves the last trip you're on, so that's why movies came up first. But there you go. That's using the studio. You can also uh, change the theme on Media Center. I personally don't like to do that. And you can create new entry points if you're on the PC. If you use the PC hooked up directly, you might want to create new entry points. If you click on Start Menu, um, there's an application there. That's a new entry point that will launch an application like a Hulu or something like that. I hope you enjoyed it.